Taking care of the land, the soil, and the cattle are a top priority for our family. It's something that is in our DNA. Randy and I love living on the farm and we're thrilled to have the next generation coming on, Michelle and Steve, to take over the operation. It means a lot to have my family involved, that they're interested in helping achieve what we've started. There was just a natural fit for us here. It's actually a century farm that we live on, which means it's been in the family 100 years. And yeah, we're just really proud to be here and be able to do what we love. We take a holistic approach on our operation where you know we're raising the corn, we feed it through the cattle, then we use the manure from the feedlot to put back to the crops and it all just kind of works seamlessly. We take advantage of services that help us analyze our soils, know exactly what needs to be put on the soil so that we can prescribe what needs to be put out there. God only gave us so much soil, we want to make sure that we keep it for generations to come. Some of the things we've found with, through cover crops, through grazing cattle, is that that's what holds our dirt in place and that's what's kind of kept us successful and profitable in the years. In this section of Iowa, Southwest Iowa, we have some fragile soil in places. Because of the fragile soil, we have to protect our runoff and try and hold everything we can, nutrients, water, on the farm. So we are all engaged in the effort to limit the soil erosion and limit nutrients that, that leave our farm. So we do everything that we can, cover crops, terracing, to prevent nutrients from getting into those naturally occurring waterways. I believe cattle in a good, clean environment can go hand in hand, that the cattle are the reason why we are able to um, be good stewards of the land here in Southwest Iowa. We love cattle, and cattle work really well for us. We're hopeful that um, we can continue to do that into the future and that more people can adopt practices to keep livestock on the landscape. If we're gonna be here and farm this ground in 100, 200 years, this is the stuff we have to do now to make sure we're moving in the right direction. Myself and my family care for the land, care for the cattle, because we feel it is the right thing to do. Without water, without sunshine, without grass, you don't have beef. <laughs> it's all, it's all works together.